Hello and welcome to City Cruise Live. Today we're going to continue with Danganronpa. Goodbye despair. Last we left off, there was uh, quite some crazy things going on. Um, also my setup on my desk is a bit different because I just got a new laptop. So I don't know if my microphone position is a bit bad right now. This is a holding music for everything. <laughs> I just play whatever game music for my introductions, but maybe I'll make a holding song sometime. A waiting song or whatever. Anyway. Uh, I forget, where do we have to go? I have the worst memory. I have to go somewhere. Why is my memory so bad? Uh, I think we have to go out of the island. What did we do last time? I knew I was gonna forget. Oh, Sonya should be here. Oh, okay, let's go. Thank you, game, for reminding me. But the only place on this island where bombs could probably be hidden is Jebel Park. But there was a bomb there the whole time. So like. I'm looking for is my Discord. Oh, my Discord is making sounds. Uh... Also, my stream might be unstable. I might have to just. My laptop is doing some big download. I might have to stop that in case uh, if it does ruin the stream. Hopefully, it doesn't. So far, we're okay. You always drop. No, wait. Trapped by the ocean. How appropriate. Where's Chapel Walk Park? It's up to number two, right? There we go. That's weird. I don't see any, her anywhere. Hey, Sonya! My Wi-Fi is also unstable, great combo. Well, so far it says it's stable. If it goes unstable, I'm gonna stop the downloading I'm doing on my laptop. But for now, it's okay. Hopefully, we can have a smooth, smooth ride. Okay. I'm right here! Too bad! Oh. Just kidding. It's only me. Yes, indeed. Hajime used to call Sonya, but nothing happened because she already she's already gone to a faraway place. No. <laughs> Just kidding. If you're looking for Sonya, she was walking around near the military base. Okay, I guess we're going. Where to be at the military base because the bombs were found at the plushie factory. Hmm. Things are getting interesting now. Things are weird. Okay, we're going to Chiaki first on the third island. Okay. I wonder if there is an actual traitor in the game though. Because I can't really think who it could be. I feel like it's either one of the girls. I don't know if it's. if anyone else could be it. Jackie, I've been looking for you. Don't respond so slowly. It's the bombs! 
We found the bombs. Hurry over to the plushie factory. Hey, you listening to me? This is no time to space out. Yep. Oh, you're right. The bombs are bad, right? We gotta go to the plushie factory. Wow. Oh, why is she so slow? Why is my waifu like this? At least be a little more nervous, even in a situation like this. She moves like a, at a snail's pace. Alright, I should hurry up over to the final island and meet, meet up with Sonya at the military base. Alright. I feel like Sonya is a traitor at this point. Um, okay, final island. Because everyone else seems pretty friendly. Like, she's. She just acts weird a lot, so I don't know. Oh, did my pet die? Or did it grow? Uh oh. It's gonna die, is it? No, wait, what? Oh, okay. You don't remember them finding the bombs. Okay, cool, I got things. Alright. Well, we got a new egg, I guess. Maybe they don't find the bombs. Maybe the game it just ends there. <laughs> Before I go to the plush factory and me up with Sonya. Sonya is acting a bit suspicious. And Monokuma told me to go over to her, which is even more suspicious, because he would only tell me to go for like a bad reason, not a helpful reason. I feel like. Sonya, there she is. What is she doing in a place like this? Actually, that would explain her princessness more, like how she knows how to do all the languages and stuff. She's a spy. She's not actually a princess. Looks like Sonya is digging around at the back of a truck. Hey, what are you doing? My! Hachibe, please do not startle me. I am concerned. I thought my heart was going to explode. Explode? A anyway, what are you doing here? Weren't you searching the central island? Um... I was, but there was something I needed needed to confirm here. Never mind that for now. We found them. Um... What did you find? The bombs, obviously. They found the bombs. At the plushie factory. Uh? Huh? The bombs were at the, at the factory. Let's hurry over to the plushie factory. The others should already be there, too. Hey, what are you stalling for? If we don't hurry, it'll be too late. You are right. You are right. I understand. She's acting very suspicious. I shall make my way there shortly. Please go on without me. I am sorry! It is going to be fine. I will catch up with you soon. Got it. Then I'll start heading over. Okay. Very suspicious. But why is she even in the military base? Bombs do outweigh traitors, so let's go with that first. Oh dear. Did I hatch already? That was a quick hatch. Where's Sonya? I told her about the bombs, but she wouldn't listen to me. She said she'd catch up with us later. Huh? Later? Why? She should know that now isn't the time for that, but... Well... Can I go bring her? Dumbass! Do you really think she... there's time for that? You dumbass? You're right. 
We need to stop the bombs first. Damn it! All right, let's go. Where's Nagato? We steeled our nerves and charged into the factory. Oh. The first thing I noticed was the roaring engine of the nearby truck. Truck, why? There's a truck parked in the middle of the factory. A lot of dangerous looking objects are loaded on the bed of the truck. Hey, 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 hey! Those things on top of the bed. Is that a. Is Damn that it! A, I don't know how powerful they are, or if they have enough power to blow up the entire island, but. If there are that many, they must be extremely powerful. Did he really drive this truck and carry all, over all these bombs? Damn it! Kazuichi, didn't you, can't you disarm these bombs? You're good at this kind of stuff, right? Hmm. I thought I could, but. Looks like the engine is also acting as a detonator. Damn it. So that's why the engine is still running. The bombs are set up so when the engine stops running, the insulator will blow off the trigger and, and trigger the explosion. You? <laughs> I don't care how it's built. Can you disarm it or not? Uh. It's impossible. I don't have enough time. The main detonator was put inside the bulky metal box and well shut. Uh. So there's no way I can disarm it if... I can't get this thing open. That's gonna take you a long time. That's not good. I mean, it's almost. This is bad! Yeah, noon. Mm. What if we use the tool at the military base? Hey, hey, hey! We, we don't have time for that! The truck's engine is the detonator, right? We can't have. We can't. We stall. Eh. Then can't stall. What? Then can't we stall for time by adding gasoline? It's no use to fuel cap has been welded on too. I'm gonna do it! I'll just drive the truck into the sea. Bastard! You can't, you don't even have a driver. Is that really important right now? <laughs> if you don't have a driver's license or not? Huh? Are you seriously gonna stop me? I thought your family was all about breaking the law. Damn it! But even if that's possible, there's a chain wrapped around the wheel. If we can't disarm the bomb, stall for time or move the truck, there's nothing we can do. Hey, hey. Hey, check it out. Huh? See? There's some kind of machine on top of that metal box, because Kazuichi mentioned. Huh? Machine on top of the box? Hmm. Oh, this. It looks like a card reader. Card reader. Hmm. Maybe we can disarm the bomb if we swipe the key card. Are you serious? Hmm. Wait. That might be possible. Hmm. Nagata wouldn't be able to disarm these bombs if he didn't leave some way of doing that, right? Huh? Maybe he never planned to disarm them from the start. Hmm. No, I don't think that's it. Nagato was probably trying to make us do something here. What do you mean, something? So... No, Nagato. There's definitely some kind of theme to this, I think. A theme. Hmm. The bastards probably would do something messed up like that. All right. Then we gotta go find that. Just leave it to me. Nagato was trying to make us do something here. Does he, like, know who the traitor is? And the traitor's card will deactivate the bomb. That'd be coolish. Oh, okay. Damn it. A theme. A theme. Maybe. A theme. Oh, right. Uh. Oh, there's a laptop there. What's that doing there? This wasn't there the last time I came, right? How suspicious. Looks suspicious. It might be good if we examine it thoroughly. Yeah, you're right. As soon as I touched the laptop, some kind of program began running all of a sudden. And almost immediately a video started playing. Hello there. Everyone, great work. So you've really found the bombs, huh? Believing in you was completely worth it. Nagato. Perhaps. It looks like a video message from Nagato. You pissed me off. A video message? If he's got something to say, he should say it to my faces. Hey, bastard! Just hold on. For now, let's just watch through the till the end. Now then. Now that you guys have found the bombs, all you need to do is stop it. 
to tell you the truth, it's actually not that hard to do. You see, there's a card reader on top of the middle box. We could have just watched the video and instead of trying to figure it out ourselves. As long as you scan an e-book, e-handbook, it will disarm the bombs. Leave it to me! Alright, if that's the case, then just leave it to me. However... Well... It won't work with just any student handbook. If you want to disarm that bomb, you have to use the traitor's student handbook. Oh, I called it! <laughs> to be honest, I found out who the traitor was after secretly monitoring, monitoring everyone's activity. But I was a little annoyed that they never came forward. So if things stay this way, it'll look like I lost, right? That's why I was thinking I should have another battle. So, this is going to be your last chance, traitor. What are you going to do? Everyone's life depends on you. Whether or not you save them is up to you. Now then, I wonder how this is going to end. Will the traitor's identity finally be revealed? So there definitely is a traitor. Well, as long as the wrong ebooks don't trigger the bomb, everyone could just scan their ebooks until one of them is a traitor. And we can be like, haha, you are the traitor. And we're all saved. Except Sonya's not here. So she must be the traitor. And with that, the video ended. The traitor's student handbook. Don't tell so, me! So, that's it. This was also a trap. To weed out the traitor? Hey, hey! Is there seriously a traitor? If there is, they should have come forward already. I mean, their life is in danger too, you know? That's true, but... Yeah! Uh, maybe maybe Sonya's trying to find an escape in the military base. Maybe she knows how to fly a helicopter? Stop whining and complaining. We should do it at one at a time. You... Don't tell me, stupid. stupid. What if... Someone besides the traitor uses the handbook. Hey, hey! It's really stupid to fight over something like this. And so, with an annoyed expression on her face, Jackie walked over to the bombs without saying a word. Took her handbook out of her pocket. No! Is it her? And without hesitation, swiped the card reader. Oh, it's not her. Oh! Mm. My waifu is not the traitor. I'm happy. See? Who's next? Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? If you make a mistake, the bombs might blow up. You think so? But they didn't. Hey! That's just a fluke. Don't act so careless in a situation like this. Anyway. Well, I guess Chiaki's not the traitor. I don't think the traitor would have swiped the handbook right away like she did. Hmm. And also the card reader didn't respond. So... Yes. So what are you gonna do? Who wants to try next? Hey, hey, hey! Uh, like I said, don't act so careless. Swiping the wrong cut. Well, you sound like you're the traitor now. Huh? <laughs> but only once, you know? Huh? Hey, what happened? Well... No, there's nothing. I might just be overthinking it, but the engine somehow sounds... Just then, Kazuichi... Kazuichi's face turned pale and rushed over to the truck. And then, he tilted his head up towards the engine. He suddenly shouted, ah! It's out of gas! Uh-oh. What'd you say? What did you... Huh? What's gonna happen if there's no gas? <laughs> I already told you, it's gonna blow! But isn't it too soon? I mean, there's still time until noon. Are you kidding me? Did Nagato miscalculate? Are you serious? Miscalculate? Oh, uh, if you're gonna set it us up, at least get your calculations right, damn it. Damn it. At least Monokuma knows how to keep a schedule. Are hey, you serious? Can't we do anything about it? Is there something we can do? Yeah. Yeah, there's only one thing we can do now. Huh? What is it? We have to do it. Damn it! <laughs> Pray. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Th that we should run! Those roads he started sprinting away, and that's when it happened. It is alright! It is not a bomb! Huh? All of a sudden, the inside of the factory can overflowing with dazzling light. Oh, what? Huh? Um. Looks like. Fireworks. Fireworks. While we stood there dumbfounded, the fireworks slowly incre decreased their intensity. And eventually. Oh my! Uh, this means. 
It wasn't a bomb! Huh? What the heck, I mean, Nagato said... Um... So, it is just as I thought. As he thought. Hey, hey! Hey everyone, look over there. It's a laptop. It looks like it's playing another video. Is it Nagato again? <laughs> so, were you surprised? Seriously, think about it. Do you really think there are enough bombs to blow up an entire island? Fireworks would still make a uh, quite an explosion in an enclosed space. You would definitely get hurt, at least. Okay. Even if there was, a, if there were, a guy like me would never be able to do, to use them. Damn it! So it was all a bluff. And then what was that bomb he de detonated at the hotel? Um. Nagata went to the octagon inside the funhouse, right? Don't tell me. Is that where he got that bomb? But it definitely wasn't strong enough to blow up an, an island. Nagata was lying about that. You pissed me off. Is he still watching us from somewhere? If he's not, then how did he time this message so perfectly? Hmm. Now it looks like the video was set to play after the explosion by a wireless signal from the detonator. But why did he have to use a video message? That's the one thing I don't get. Hey, hey. Let's think about that after we watch the whole thing. The plot thickens. Hey. So how did it go? Did the traitor come forward? If I had to guess, well, I'd say they didn't, right? So then, which is it? It'd make me very happy if you guys could tell me. I'll be at the warehouse, next door, waiting for you for your answer. From there, we'll compare our answers, and I'll let you know who the traitor really is. See you later. So he's just gonna tell us. Well, why did he have to go through all this torture? Oh. I really don't like Nagato. That's where Nagato is. I won't forgive this you. time I'll make sure to beat the crap out of him. That's right. Then I'll deliver the final blow and smash his head in with a wrench. Jeez. That bastard. What are you saying? Bastard. You guys can just beat the mm, out of him because I'm the one who's gonna mm, kill him. Mm. You guys, you've totally flipped your lids. Now's not the time to be calm. We need to stop him. That is oh, an order. He's not really doing anything now. He, he's just. In the warehouse. <laughs> okay. But I can understand their frustration. Huh? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the crap out of him. Hey, I totally know how you feel, but calm down. Wait! Shut up. Huh? Everyone's feet came to a grinding halt. Their red angry faces tr instantly transformed into a look of caution. Akane, what is it? Huh. Can you hear something? It's coming from the other side of this door. As I listened carefully, I could make out a soft sound coming from inside the warehouse. Music? What's he planning? Is this another one of Nagato's traps? Huh? Maybe the movement... We, the moment we open this door, a real bomb is gonna go kaboom! Now then! Alright, let's open it and find out. Huh? Please, please do not, Akane! It is dangerous! Yo! It's fine, over. No, that's not the Leave it to me! Seriously, I'll be fine. With those words, Kane brushed off everyone's warnings and slowly opened the door to the warehouse. Huh? Not open. Is there something blocking the door? I can barely open it. Hey, hey! I knew it, it's a trap, obviously. Just stop. Stop it, okay? You Okay. What? Oh. Ah! <laughs> Kiluichi's. Too on edge all the time. Huh? What's this? What happened? Yo! Look inside. It sure is dark. Looks like there aren't any lights on. So the warehouse felt even darker because our eyes were still used to the bright sunlight. Within the darkness, a loud hymnal, hymnal blared throughout the warehouse at full volume. Hey, do you guys hear something? Yeah, it's really damn loud! Does Nagito like listening to this depressing crap? No, I'm not talking about the music. Another on cue, it started. Suddenly started. Oh. Is he gonna like, kill himself in fire? It's on fire! Oh, is he even in there? A fearsome blade suddenly began dancing inside the dark warehouse, like fiery wings spreading before Whoa! it. Whoa! What? What's going on? For oh, now! We must extinguish these flames! Let us hurry and put them out! Hey, hey! 
But, but how are we supposed to put out this fire? Um. There should be a fire extinguisher. Fire extinguishing supplies inside the factory break room. Perhaps we should use those. Damn it. <laughs> Thank you. I pride myself in my stream titles. Okay, got it. Let's head to the break room. After listening to Sonya, we ran into the factory. Sonya is still fairly suspicious. She's the only one that's not like playing along with everyone. This is a creepy angle. Where the fire extinguishes? Fire grenades. That's oh, okay. That's what you call it. We do not call them fire grenades here. Everyone. What is a fire grenade? Um. Throw them at fire if they break. Oh, okay. We don't have that them here. We just have normal strange, no? fire extinguishers. Unless this is only for like factories. Hey! Okay. Um. Make sure you don't get too close to the fire. It's dangerous. Take care, do not inhale smoke as well. We should throw the grenade from the door at the same time. Damn it! Looks like the curtain in the back is burning up. I just have to aim for that, right? I'm gonna do it! Alright, let's go. Why is it glass sounds? I thought they were plastic. I'm really hoping to see what the next one is. <laughs> oh, we'll see. It all basically depends on what I think is going to happen in the stream. That's how I base my titles. So if I don't know what's going to happen, it's, it'll usually be kind of boring. But if I have a feeling, Pyros and Maniacs, that will be the title. Hey, is it just me? Or does it feel like the fire's not going out at all? I couldn't absorb the impact of thrown grenades, which fell on the floor and shattered. They were completely ineffective at extinguishing the burning curtain. Does it not seem like the fire is intensifying? If the fire continues to rise, it will inflame the ceiling! This is bad. We've already used up all the fire grenades! Well, it's not gonna, like, burn down the whole island or anything. They, like, safe. Like, you don't, you don't even need the factory. Just let it burn. What are we gonna do? All we can do now is pray for rain! Just don't be stupid! There's no way it'll conveniently start raining if we pray for it! Do it. <laughs> it's raining? So this is the power of the Japanese Terra Bozo! That's not it. It looks like the sprinklers activated. That took a long time for the sprinklers to activate. I think that they're a bit faulty. You might need to get a check. Oh, the sprinklers. They must have detected the smoke and turned on. After a while, the fire in the warehouse was completely extinguished. Looks like the fire is out. Um. That's it. It's a relief. Damn it! <laughs> what the hell? Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Malikuma. It wasn't us. <laughs> Man, my merch is drenched. It got splattered with water and now it's all soaked. It's so wet. Hey, hey. Hey, is it okay to look inside now? Just a minute. Uh, ah, time out, time out. You can't. Uh, no, oh, no way. Uh, why can't we go inside? Hey, um. Smoke and has hazardous gas up. Still spread throughout the warehouse, so it's got to ventilate for a while. Well, yeah. Well, I guess you're right. It'd be a problem if we breathe in any lingering smoke. So... For the sake of your health, please wait for uh, just a little while. While you're waiting, why don't you check out the Monokuma Theater? I've freshly prepared. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay, this thing, not the actual. Okay. You're so stupid! Everything is a lie. <laughs> Monokuma doesn't exist. The Monokuma Theater doesn't exist. Everything is fiction. There is no meaning whatsoever. 
There's no relationship whatsoever. There's no- everything was made. Monokuma can't be found anywhere. <laughs> what are you doing here anyway? Yes, that made total sense. Okay. Yes, indeed. Wait, is Nagato there? Yes, now that the Monokuma theater is over, I'm sure it's finished ventilating now. Phew. Also, I'm starting to feel better. Just because my important merch was ruined doesn't mean I should be depressed about it forever. Whenever I feel depressed, I always ask myself this question. But hold on! Why are your eyes in fr on the front? I got it! So you can move forward. Don't be sad about what already happened, and be positive. Um... Why do we get it already? Jeez! <laughs> Enough with your mm -mm. I'll leave the rest to you! Oh, I turned on the light for you guys, too. You might hurt yourselves in the dark. Here! Now, now, go. Go ahead, right ahead. Perhaps... Hmm. I don't think Nagato would be inside. Huh. Hey, hey. Well, why don't we go inside? Okay. Yeah. Let's go inside. Your heart is racing. A charred odor permeated throughout the warehouse, and the air was so heavy that it was hard to breathe. The moment I set a foot inside the warehouse, a mixture of bewilderment, anxiety, and fear overtook me at once. It smells... Hey! Hey! It's not me! I am sorry! You serious? <laughs> I'm sorry to say it ain't so. Hmm. No, it's not that. It's like a smell I've never smelt before. Like... Well, it makes sense. There are uh, strange smells when a bunch of different things were burned. Hey, hey! Why do they keep using the wrong version of words? They keep doing burned when it should be burnt. And learned instead of learnt. And it's just a slight annoyance. <laughs> I know it's translated, but like. Come on. Hey, everyone, did you know the, that the curtain? You mean the curtain that was on fire, right? What do you mean, you know? See? I didn't notice it until the curtain was burning, but there's space on the other side of it, too. That looks more like a hole that was burnt into it, not... Oh wait, oh, that is the curtain. Not the wall. Okay. There was still space beyond the burnt potato curtain. Alright, are we going in there? never experienced such an oppressive atmosphere before and I couldn't keep help holding my breath. And then, on the other side of the curtain, I saw the true source of the intense malice that I had been feeling. Is it Nagato? Wait, what? What? Did he? What? Whoa. Whoa! Whoa, that is definitely the most brutal murder so far. I, I had no idea what I was looking at. That can't really be him, right? This must be like a dummy or something, right? By the time I realized, I was looking at the remains of the Nagato. Because we were all together. There's no way... There's no way anyone could have killed him. In that time, we were all together. The only person who could have killed him is Sonya, maybe. Which would then further mean she's a traitor. But this is still very weird. Time had already stopped. Not so lucky anymore, are ya? <laughs> I don't like Nagato that much, so. But it is quite a brutal murder. Eventually, the shock finally registered with me. A numb feeling spread from the center of my brain on it almost instantly. Nagato. He's dead. And his eyes are opened, which is. Uh... Even when I saw this before me, I wasn't able to comprehend this that reality. 
The Monokuma is also stabbed. What? What? Are you serious? That's right, it's negative. He always messed with us. He always tried to confuse us. That's why I can't believe it. Nagato ended up in such a cru cruel state. That is cruel. A knife in the hand, tied up. Mouth closed. It's stabbed through the chest. And like cuts on his legs as well. This is a very brutal, like overly brutal murder. It's like cuts on his arms as well, well. Couldn't help but seeing it in his dead, frightened face. But on this island, unbelievable the abnormal occurrences happen all the time. Even Nagato couldn't escape the truth, but even something as small as that. Okay, then it's confirmed it is he's actually dead. I thought he. A body has been discovered. <laughs> okay, she's trying to tee pose. No. <laughs> uh, um, but I thought I read on, like I did have a few spoilers, but I guess they weren't spoilers because I thought Nagato was all the way till the end. Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed. The class trial will begin! Unless Monokuma brings him back for some reason. Don't tell me! Then it's for real. Hey! Then Nagato is really dead. Damn it! It's not just that he's dead. If the body discovery now announcement was made, does that mean Nagato was killed? K killed. That's right. Kill killed. Plus, it's one of us. I mean, that's what it means, right? One of us killed Nagato. One of us killed him so brutally. <gasps> the, then it's gonna start again. The class trial is gonna start soon, right? Of course. Yep. We gotta do it. We gotta find out who's Nagato's killer. Hey. No hey. matter how you, who you guys sacrifice, you're determined to survive the, and leave this island, right? Ching. Then the time for action is now. So allow me to give you the familiar Monokuma. <laughs> Hold it right there. Damn it! What? Don't get in my way like that. I was about to wipe out, whip out the Monokuma file in such a cool way. You stupid brother! Shut up! I can't stand this anymore. Got it? How much longer are you going to keep putting them through this? No more. I won't let you. I'll make sure to. I pul pulverize your evil intentions. Hey, hey! So say something. What's this? Oh, now I remember who you are. You're Monomi. <laughs> You just noticed me. Like... Anyway, one of me, if you're gonna talk about my intentions, why don't you talk about yours first? <laughs> what are your intentions anyway? Why are you keeping everyone cooped up on this island? I'm sure everyone wants to know you too, you know. <laughs> well, no fair, you're shutting up too. Please wait! We already have enough to deal with concerning Nagato. Please do not say anything that will confuse us. Hey. Anyway, let's begin. Mm -hmm. This is just... Besides, it's our fault that we can even protect uh, it. Nice! Looks like you kids are way more behaved than one of me. Don't fuck with me! I tired of this too, you know. That's why I'd definitely make sure to finish this for good this time. This is kind of depressing. Actually... Don't worry, the end is near. What's the matter? Don't make a face like that. Like a pig that's about to become bacon. You've already noticed, right? <laughs> the man behind the Monokuma timer. Uh, I guess there's only two days left, huh? When the timer reaches zero two days from now, what will happen to us? Hmm? Uh, the killing school trip will be over. Hey, hey! If this will be finally be over, you serious? Does that mean we can go home? What are you gonna do? Don't count your bears before they hatch. Bears don't hatch. There's still something you gotta do before that, right? So... It's the Monokuma file! Alright. 
You guys need to find out Monokuma's, uh, Nagato's killer is Survive the Class Trial. If this ends here, there won't be an afterwards. Uh, Do uh, your best! Right. Wait! I won't forgive you! Hmm. But still... I understand how you feel, but we need to focus on Nagato's case first. Damn it! Even if we can, can go home, it'll be the end for us if we s screw up here. Alright! However... It's just nice to think everyone can go home, but that is impossible, right? I mean, someone is in this room, killed Nagato. There's a killer amongst us. The weight of those words began to sink into me. That was a true... That was true of the previous cases, but was it really true this time? Time to investigate. Oh, his blood type. Oh, that's a good blood type to have. The body was discovered inside the lab near the factory. The estimated time of death is believed to be noon sharp. Again, not only is there a spear stabbed in the stomach, there is multiple stab wounds in each thigh. Furthermore, there's lacerations on his left arm and an impaled knife through the right. Yeah, there's a lot of damage on him. That's a lot of damage! What a tragic situation, just reading this makes me depressed. Huh? Not only is it a... Hmm, it's definitely weird. Mm. Well, I guess I'll find out if I look around. That's what the investigation's for. Don't worry or form inclusions on your own. That makes me more worried than I should be. Mm. We can discuss it later right now. It's only our only chance to investigate. So we should investigate first. See? If we don't, there won't be anything for us to discuss. I never thought we'd have to investigate Nagato's body. We probably didn't expect to end up like this either. <sighs> okay. Why is the Monokuma plushie got blood and stuff? Monokuma's dead? There's blood coming out of his stomach. No response. He's dead, Jim. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm not dead. Is this one of the life-size plushies you were that were being produced in the factory? <laughs> You're mistaking a plushie for me, then there's something wrong with you. You're a stuffed animal too. Don't put oversized garbage there, it's so messy. What the heck? Yeah, what? Did you try to imitate Nagato's body for something? I had nothing to do with that. You're so evil. He's probably lying. Seriously, you're always lying. You should just die like that plushie over there. What's this? You seem more pissed than usual these days, Monami. But you better watch what you say. If I feel like it, I can wipe you out easily, you know? I... I won't give in to your tra threats. I'll fight you until the very end. I can't I'll definitely take back the seat of world supremacy from Monokuma. <laughs> Alright. If it wasn't Monokuma's trick, then who did this? Could the killer have done this, and why? A lighter. That would have been Nagato, right? <coughs> oh, excuse me. This is where the curtains would have been hanging. It also looks like the fire did extensive damage here. If the oil lighter was placed here. Just kidding. An oil lighter. Some lighter. Someone probably wanted to keep warm. Bring it on. Is it? Is the most foolish thought. This is clearly the cause of the fire. Well. Oil lighters can continue to burn even after someone lets go of them. Which means. So you think that the curtain was set on fire using the oil lighter? Do you think the killer set up some sort of trick with it? You are 
are right. The killer probably planned to destroy the evidence by setting the warehouse on fire. They caused the fire to destroy the evidence. Alright. I pick a bunch of plastic bottles. Still don't know why plastic made a glass shattering sound, but okay. Extra bop. <laughs> what? We'll never be confused by him again. We'll never be saved by him again. But now, we need to investigate everything about this body that catches my eye. Why would the killer do something like that? Damn it! Is this right? It's pretty sad sadistic. The killer must have been holding a huge grudge towards him. Or they might have been torturing him. Torture? Huh? I mean, if they just wanted to kill him, they could have just stabbed him once in the chest, right? You disregard the spear in his chest. The other wounds were inflicted were inflicted for reasons other than killing. Which means the wounds all over Nagato's body were from the killer torturing him. That's the case. What was the killer trying to make Nagato confess? Was it something that would have led to the traitor? Even so. Well, even if this was torture, there's no doubt that the killer must have held a deep grudge towards Nagato. Right. Refusing, refusing to let him die easily. I can totally understand a dark pulse like that. But even if they held a grudge against him, would they really have gone this far? There's no way around it. That looks like the fatal wound. What's this? Oh my, what's this? Such a strange looking spear, isn't it? A cord extension from the tip of the handle, and there's an iron weight attached to it. Phew! I see, I see. He used a cord to whip... As a whip, to capture the enemy and deliver the final blow with the spear. Is this your first time looking at this too? <laughs> of course not. Um, this is the spear of... Gungurnir, right? Yes. You definitely came up with that just now. Hey! By hey. the way, I wanted to ask you, where did the spear come from? Um, I feel like I saw it at the Nozumi Castle. What? What? Nozumi Castle? What the hell? I was designed to be afraid of mice, so I can't go in there. <laughs> Damn you mice! Damn you all to hell! I see, even he doesn't know what's inside the castle. The spear definitely catches my eye, but the weight on the end of the cord is coming out of the handle. For some reason, this section of the cord doesn't have blood on it. It's about the size of a human fist. It's strange. Well, that's where they held it then, <laughs> game. It's strange that this section of the cord doesn't have blood on it. Also, she has mentioned earlier, but apparently this spear came from the Zumi castle. Alright. Keep that in your head, kitties. We gotta go to Nazumi Castle. There's a cut on the upper left arm. His legs and right hand are stab wounds, but this wound looks like a slice. That's probably the reason that the wound on his left arm doesn't look like a deep, that deep compared to the others. But regardless, it doesn't change the fact that it's a hideous wound and there's blood everywhere. Super difficult. Mm. There's something strange. Strange, what? See? Look at the palm of his left hand. I think the blood is from where his left arm was sliced, but... Doesn't the blood splatter look strange? It cuts off right in the middle of his palm. Yeah. 
it definitely cut out. Maybe that's as far as the blood would reach when it splattered. Um. Well, that would explain the blood on his palm, but there's something else that's strange. Um. Hey, Tiger, you made it! You missed, uh, yesterday, I think. But don't worry, you missed a lot. <laughs> you kind of did. But your your beloved, be beloved, is deaded. <laughs> well, she is. There's also blood, but only above the middle middle joint of each finger. Why is it only on this part? See? See, it's just as I said, it's strange, right? Mm. I win! <laughs> yeah, sure, you win. It's definitely strange. Do you, do you enjoy this sight? <laughs> I've got this terrible news. Uh, but it's definitely strange. It's hard to believe, but maybe Nagato did this to himself? But I don't know how he would. And why. But we shall see. <laughs> You're not the only one with the dead favorite now. As long as Chiaki stays alive, I will be happy. I hope she doesn't die. I hope she didn't kill Nagato. But it looks like... Because this is a very gruesome way to kill someone. If I, I don't think my precious little Shiaki would kill someone this brutally. But it looks like the tip of the rope was burned off. Could this be the result of the fire? But that's weird. If the rope was burned off like this. Why is Nagato's clothes completely unaffected by the fire when he's so close to the place? He must have been in a great pain. He clearly, clearly had this agonizing look on his face when he died. His mouth is covered with duct tape. What was this to keep Nagato from screaming for help? <laughs> okay. Well, you got to finish your homework. No watching Sadie Cruz <laughs> unless you finish your homework. <laughs> this is bad. Jeez, what a horrible look on his face. The blood splattered all over it. It doesn't help either. It's a good thing his mouth is covered with duct tape. Otherwise I wouldn't be able to look at him. Um. Ah, but a minute. Sorry, excuse me. Jackie moved past Kazuichi and me and squatted down next to Nagato's face. For one swift movement, she ripped the duct tape off his mouth. Hey, hey, what are you doing? It's gonna be fine. I will put it back right away once I'm done investigating here. For putting back the duct tape isn't the issue. Being grateful, Swire. You're gonna get cursed! Mm. Ah, the blood on Nagato's face. It looks like it mostly came from the slice in his left arm. If that's the case, Man. it's no use, she's not listening. Hey, hey! Hey, that's the blood splattered on his face. There's no blood under the duct tape. Huh? What's wrong with that? Well? This duct tape has crinkles, like it was sticking towards the inside of his mouth, right? Nagato's probably desperately moving his mouth under the duct tape. <laughs> Seriously, what's wrong with that? She means Nagato's mouth was covered with duct tape before he got the wound all over his body. Okay, well that kind of removes the idea that it was a uh, suicide. Even though it was, that was unlikely to begin with, which caused the duct tape to get sucked into his mouth for a bit. But what's wrong with that? Is that something we really need to worry about? Ah. I don't really get it. But just put the duct tape back on his mouth already. Yep. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, this might be some kind of clue too. I should remember it. Is that everything? Right. 
The knife it stabs right through Nagato's right hand. Did the killer do this? How could they do something so cruel? Um. This knife, it must be from the military base. Mm, how do you know that, Sonya? <clears throat> now that you mention it, you're right, it looks like a survival knife. Well? It seems like the wounds on his leg and left arm were caused by the same knife. It means that after the killer finished stabbing Nagato's leg and left arm, they stabbed the knife through his right hand. It cannot be! And then they finished him off with a spear. How cruel! And doesn't that mean the killer went to the trouble of using two weapons, a knife and a spear? But they could have just killed him with stabbing him with a knife. Why did they need to use a spear? You are right. That is definitely sage. Was there a reason they had to use it? Does it mean I'm used to it? Yeah, you kind of are after like five deaths. I'd say it kind of start to become a, a normal thing, even though that's weird. All right. I guess we talk to everyone. So just as I thought. If only everyone could go home, nothing would make me happier. <laughs> okay, they're not actually saying any information. Actually, Akane hasn't said well? anything. Oh, there is blood up there. Right, I definitely see it. Looks like a small line, red line on the ceiling. Perhaps. Is that blood? Blood. The color definitely looks like blood, but there's no way blood could get up there, right? Plus, it's a straight line. Hmm. All right. Like. Connie hasn't um, said anything, so he's, she's a bit suspicious now. It matters for Gundam's killing and for Mekons, but it looks like it's different this time. It doesn't matter the time. What is so... the time? It looks like the time doesn't matter. It was clearly written in the Monokuma file. The time of the death was noon sharp. If it was at noon, what were we doing at that time? Hmm. Right now it's, it's time. Twelve thirty. So only thirty minutes ago. Right? Um, that means Nagato died thirty minutes ago. Uh, it happened so recently. Well that's a bit weird. Fresh seems like a bad way to describe it. Hmm. Anyway, it happened like thirty minutes ago. Was it around the time we were struggling with the bomb? Sonya's the only one then. She was the only one that was outside when we were all together. All right! Which means whoever doesn't have an alibi for the time is Nagato's killer. Hmm. Well, this could be like when Na Nekumaru died, the killer could have also used some kind of automatic setup. Also, the crime looks very detailed, so they would have needed time to repair. All right! Then whoever doesn't have an alibi before we found the bomb is suspicious. Huh? Wait, none of us have an alibi for that time. That's when we all split up to search for the bomb. Mm. Mm. Okay, now I guess we're investigating the area behind the curtain. Killer goal. Killer's goal wasn't just to kill Nagato. There would, should have been another reason as well. If not, there would have been. They wouldn't have gone to all this trouble of trying to tie him with a rope and cover his mouth with duct tape. Yeah. Try investing the other areas inside the warehouse first. Okay. MP3 player. Why is that? Oh, that was playing music, right? Maybe. Was that to like um block out the noise of them killing him or something? Hmm. But we were all together at that point. Or to block out the noise of him screaming as he died from something. Why 
everything's kind of like this. The last time I came here, they were all neatly packed. It's fine. Oh yeah, she opened it, so maybe she made that. Could it be? Was that it? Well. And there's something else I've been wondering. Hey, hey. Those monocular panels have shipped over, starting from the entrance to the back of the warehouse, right? They seem to be lying. Oh. It's a domino, which means that that would have triggered something. When someone opened the door, that would tip them all over, trigger something. So. I think that's everything in here, right? No, no. What? Oh, is that a hidden monocume or is that a... No, okay. I guess I talked to everyone. Miss hmm. oh. <laughs> Sonya's all wet. She's all drenched and soggy. Hey, hey. You were thinking that, huh? Of course not. I wasn't thinking that at all. Say what? Why are you responding, Kazuichi? I was asking Hajime. Whoa! You're screwing with me. Yes. Yes. Oh my, screwing. How lewd. <laughs> I need like a lewd emoji. I want to talk to you about that fake bomb Nagato set in the warehouse. Huh? Right before it exploded, you said something like this, right? That's not lewd, that's just tongue sticking out. I guess that can be lewd, but eh. Why did you know the bombs are fake? Oh, she is definitely the killer. She must have gone to Nagato. And tortured him until she he told that the bombs are fake. Um. And well, that's not all either. When we were looking for the bombs, why were you at the military base? I thought you were supposed to be searching the central island. Plus, when I called you, you didn't come to the factory right away. Where were you, and what were you doing during that time? Oh my! It takes the right interpretation. Yeah. It cannot. Do be. you do you suspect me? It is a misunderstanding. I am not the killer. Whoa. Jesus, mm, you son of a mm. Sonya. I am sorry. I'm terribly sorry, I was panicking. Um... I shall calm down and explain to you why I was at the military base. When I first explored the final island, I discovered a vast amount of bombs there. Well At first I was worried that someone might use them for nefarious reasons if I announced it to everyone. So I kept silent the whole time. Does that mean you heard Nagato's plan to well, when you heard Nagato playing the bombs, you got suspicious and went to investigate them. That is! And as, it, as I suspected, the bombs had disappeared. I thoroughly searched them inside the military base, but the bombs were nowhere to be found. And because you were searching for them, you were late when we were all gathered. Please listen! And because of that, I reached a conclusion. The bombs Nagato brought from the military base, which means they were fake bombs. Where are some of them? How do you find out the bombs at the military base were fake? Because I attempted to use one. What? I Why? See. I, I thought see. one of the bombs would be strong enough to blast open the door in the ancient ruin. Um. At the time, I still believed the bombs were real. I don't. I don't believe a story. And I thought well, I could use one of them to gain entrance to the ruin. However, that plan was an utter failure. Monami's just there. The bomb was not real. It was merely a fireworks display. God damn it all to hell! I see. So that's why you're the only one who knew the bombs at the military base were fake. I did. As did Monami as well. She was also secretly peeking at the bomb. Which means? Those bombs are the same ones that disappeared. It would seem Nagato took them. That is why I knew it was fake. 
However, I did not did think it was strange when Nagato blew up the hotel lobby. Uh. That bomb was real, and I could not stop thinking about it. But upon further reflection, that might have been Nagato's plan all along. He showed us a real bomb to make us believe that the bombs he set were real as well. The problem is the reason for doing um. it. With this, I have explained everything. Do you have a minute? There should be no more reason for you to doubt me. Alright, I got it. I still doubt you. I feel very suspicious on you. Hold it. The quarry, yeah, I am. Well? At this time, at a time like this, it might be good if you broaden your investigation range. Military base, pl plushy factory, and then, okay. And Nagato's room, okay. Um... Remember those guys. Military base, factory, castle, Nagato's place. Can you hear me? I see. Okay, yep, yeah, we're going. Let's go. There's no time for us to stand around, okay. Could there be any clues here? I don't feel like there would be. Ah, what? What are you doing here? So he could have been dead when this message was playing. They said 30 minutes before. I don't know when exactly that is. What is Sonya doing here? My. I have never seen so many Monokumas in my life. Well, Monokuma isn't exactly someone you would normally run into. However... However, while I was staring at all the Monokumas, a thought occurred to me. Well? The bomb that went off in the lo lobby might have been set up here. Huh? Do you have a minute? If you were hiding a bomb inside a Monokuma plushie, it would make a frightening weapon. Do you not think the group that is forcing us to kill each other would devise something like that? Amazing! A plushy bomb to act as a terrorism weapon. All right. Let us rip apart, rip these apart right away, so we can confirm it. Hold on. If there was a bomb inside it, wouldn't it explode if we carelessly messed with it? Easy as pie. Either way, it is all gravy. <laughs> all gravy. What the hell does that mean? Enough already! Stop! There is no bomb. Hey. Um. You'll know if you pick me up. See. All you can feel is a soft weight of cushion. Of cotton. I see. I see. However... Then where did... Okay, we already oh, no. got that. You got it from the octagon. Got it. That is... Okay, next stop. Military base. I know I'm like speeding past something, but I just feel like they talk so much and it's so useless. They're gonna go over everything again in the trial anyway. So like, why? The bones weren't real. It's possible that he thought they were the real thing. Never mind, he said in the mix. Pretty unethic. <laughs> so he knew that they were fireworks. Maybe there was a different 
different mode of speed, I guess, actually. Whoa! Ah, I found it! Hmm? What did you find? Huh? Well, that truck of bed over there is, has guns in it, but I also found stuff like a survival knife. Wait, that's... It's not the same type of knife that will stab through Nagato's right hand. Maybe. Which means the killer obtained the knife here. All right. So the killer someone who visited military base. That's everyone. Though. <laughs> no, not me. This is the first time I've been here. That sounds fishy. Not that good at Kazuichi's. Yeah. He's an odd character. Hey. All right. Next is the castle. Let's just uh, teleport to there. Oh. What is that? Military base. Wait, who's here? Ah, okay, that's uh, his room, I'm guessing. Alright, let's go to the castle. So who do you guys think is the killer so far? I am not sure at all. I was thinking Sonya. She's my number one suspect. But I'm not too sure. You don't know. You never know, Tiger. Come on, try and think of something. <laughs> now he's dead, so we're unable to get the password. No, we should deal with that later right now. Okay. Oh, there's a thing. The spear. The spear is definitely it, right? Yep. I see. Just as I thought, it's exactly the spear that kills Nagato. The same whip-like board is attached to the handle, and it's there's a weight at the end of it. Also. Plus, it looks like one of the spears on the wall is missing. Hmm. There's no mistaking it. The killer took one of these spears and used it as a weapon. Spear of Gungnir. Yeah. One of them would totally come up with a lame name like that. But why did the killer use a spear and a knife? Well, yeah. <sighs> I feel a little tired. No matter how much I investigate, I don't feel any closer to the truth. That's probably why I feel this way. Okay, this is weird. Well, now's not the time for to think about this. Alright, I guess that's it for here. Alright. Do you have nothing to say? Nice. Okay. I guess back to the cottages we go. Let's go talk to Chiaki first. Where is she? Oh, there she is. And Monokuma. What's this? Oh, hi, you want to go inside Nakato's room too? Hajime, what are you gonna do? I oh, was just listening to Haji Chiaki's request. She wants me to unlock the door to Nagato's cottage because she really needs it for the class trial. She begged me to do what while she was licking my black eye. What? Um, I didn't do that. Boy, tough and then do it. It's sweet because it's made. It's made out of black beans. Hey, we don't have time to mess around. Hurry up and unlock the damn door. Fine, fine. 
I guess I have no choice. I just gotta do that, right? Now then, ba -ba -ba loose. Bye bye. I open the door. You can freely investigate now. This isn't my first time seeing that, but why does the door open with a spell like that? Perhaps. Maybe the cottage key is computerized. Hey, hey. More importantly, let's go inside now that the door is open. Hmm. Let's see what's in his room. Oh, it's pretty much the same, except it's got a box. Well, he's got a fridge. I don't think I have a fridge. Why do you have a fridge? I want a fridge. Huh? Nice, my cottage doesn't even have a fridge. Yeah, I don't have a fridge too. I am mad. I wonder what he got it from. Hmm. Why did he go to the trouble of putting a refrigerator in his dream? Does he really enjoy cold drinks? I open the refrigerator out of curiosity. Monokuma's special poison. For poisoning use only. Mm. Hmm, there's nothing much in here except for poison. What's he made for poisoning someone to death? Hey, there is. Could it be? Poison. Ah. Yes, it's poison. Dang it, game. Why can't you just... I grabbed the bottle with my trembling hand and began reading the warning label on the back of the bottle. Poison made specifically for killing someone. It's Monokuma's special poison. This enchanted liquid is highly potent and takes effect immediately. Please handle with care. There was violet... 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 what? Volatility is low. The liquid is very dangerous when vaporized. In a gaseous state, it is heavier than air. It breaks down in n minutes and is susceptible to hydro lifts. Hmm. Mm. Weird. Well, see. There should be a reason we made this change. Such a thing is happening. The octagon inside the farmhouse. Perhaps. He was probably hiding them somewhere in his, on his body during the last class trial. He was hiding a bomb and poison during the class trial. <sighs> How dangerous. What would he have done if he'd accidentally tripped and broke the bottle? Just thinking about it scares me. Hey, hey. Also, he already blew, blew up the bomb he took with him the bottle. But what about this poison? See? It looks like the bottle is less than half empty. Was it like this from the beginning? Or did Nagato use it? If so, where did he use it? I wonder if is there still a trap somewhere that he hasn't been sprung yet. Another Perhaps. trap. For example, maybe he was making some kind of trap using that poison before he died. Ah, oh, Nagato. You are an odd one. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. Hey, hey. Maybe there's something under the bed. It's a usual hiding place. <laughs> yeah, like... <laughs> well, we should still check in case. There's something here. Plastic bag from the supermarket. It looks like there's something inside it. Um. Looks like a gas... 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 Gas mask and rubber gloves. These look like the real deal, but he, did he get them from the military base? Hajime. What is a paper made of blue aluminum? A round thin piece of aluminum. Huh? It's similar to those seals that go over jars of unopened mayonnaise. I get what you're saying, but does that mean it's just a piece of crap? Wait. Who knows? Hmm, who knows? Um... Hey, 
Hey. Let's see it for later. Okay. A fancy looking treasure box covered in sparkling pink lights is totally standing up. Could it be? Ah. Perhaps. That treasure box. Jackie, do you, you know about this? Yep. It's really cute. Oh, she was just reacting. This looks like Monami's stolen treasure box. If this is her gear, that means the thief Monami was talking about was Nagato. But why would Nagato steal this in order to find out? It might be good to see what's inside. Hold it! Is it gonna be okay? It looks a little dangerous. It might be, but this could be some kind of clue, you know? If this wasn't important, Nagato wouldn't have stolen it from Monami in the first place. That was a notebook. This is it. Why is a notebook inside a treasure box like this? I took the notebook out of the treasure box and began leafing through it. It contained sloppy drawings as if they were drawn by children. The entries look that looked like tr children's scratch. A oh, chicken scratch. Day one. I was able to talk with everyone for the first time today. Monokuma showed up and things turned bad. Day two, Biakwa is the leader. A lot of things happened today, so everyone's tired. What is this? A diary? Um Looks like it it Did one of me write these? Probably. These pictures and entries totally suit her. I kept looking through the pages. Day three, day four, day five. Page after page of poorly written entries continued on in the notebook. I don't really understand, but it looks like there aren't any clues here. And right when I was about to give up. My hand suddenly stopped on the entry titled Day 16. Day 16, we've been in the funhouse for three days. Everyone's hungry and on edge. Hajime tried to go to the final dead room today. He's probably panicking because no one believes him. Hey, hey! Hajime, did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. Stop it! Don't look at my notebook! Whoa. I'm out of nowhere, one of me suddenly appeared and took the notebook out of my hand. I won't forgive you! I did ask you to look for my treasure box, but I never asked, said you were allowed to peek inside. Gee, that was close. If I had come any later, he would have seen the inside of the notebook. <sighs> Unfortunately, you were a little too late. Huh? But if this notebook is here, um, the Nagata was a thief. No! Betrayal! I was betrayed by my beloved student. Hey, hey! Diary? Um, uh, it seems that way. That's right. This is my important diary where all my maiden's secrets are written. Hey! Hey, you're a liar. Ooh. Can we show up out of nowhere? Who are you? <laughs> Monami. It's not good to lie, you know. Lie? <laughs> There's no way you wrote in that notebook. Yeah. After all, Monami can't even write. Huh? What are you saying? Jeez, I could write letters easily. I could finally write the letter B. That's wrong! <laughs> no. You can't, because you have no fingers on your hands. <laughs> See, Bullseye? I know, because I am the same way too. What, what? Huh? You're mad at me. Hey, hey! That's what this is about. You're seriously trying to crush me? What are you saying? There's no way, big, no way a big brother would ever crush his little sister. <laughs> Looks like the time to settle things between us is getting closer every second. I don't know why you're getting so serious, but is what Monosi me what Monokuma said true? Hmm? Huh? He said you didn't write in that notebook. Is that true? If so, who wrote um... it? Well, you know, it's um. How should I put it? Bye bye. Excuse me. <laughs> Damn it! She totally ran away. Yep. The same pattern as usual. Looks like it's a waste of time to try and get answers from her. But still, I really wanted to ask her about that notebook. Well, actually. It might be better if I didn't ask her. All these clues, I still have no information though. Is that everything in here? No? Is there something? Okay. Hmm. So... Okay, quick show. Well? They say a self... 
shelf is a mirror of that reflects a person's heart. Do you think? Mm. I definitely don't know how much now, but I'll just... I definitely don't know how much na about Nagato just by looking at this. What should we do? It'd be really difficult to look through all these piles. Mm. That doesn't mean we should uh, should ignore it though. Yep. I'll leave it to you, Hajime. Um. <laughs> it's better if a boy goes through another boy's things, you know? There might be private stuff there. Well, that might be true, but... See? So I'll leave this shelf to you. I think I got persuaded into doing this without realising it. Alright. I sighed and walked towards the shelf. One by one, I started removing the various books and items and examining each one. But even as I examined them carefully, they still there were still a bunch of random books and items. There's no way there's a clue here. Huh? Well, that file wasn't the only thing I received from this, though. Are we going to be able to look in this book? I want to look in this book! If a shelf is a mirror that reflects a person's heart, I should have a shelf that with a Gundam try. <laughs> Lovely. Oh yikes. Lovely. Nagato said the un only contains information about me, but is that really true? Can we just look at the file? Thank you. As soon as I opened it, it was clear to me. This is what I thought. Nagato had lied to me. Aside from my information, there was information about others. Kazuichi, Fuyuhiko, Akane, and Sonya. And everyone else who- it doesn't- isn't this gonna have the traitor in it? So we like, solve the mystery? File contained information for all six of us. Sixteen of us. Only my information, my ass. I can't believe he'd make up such a strange lie. So that means the rest of it might be a lie too. I turned the page containing information and began reading through the contents. The profile contained basic information such as my date of birth, my height and weight and so forth. But there was one thing that specifically caught my eye. Reserve court students. There was no denying it. It confirmed that I was truly a reserve court student from the reserve department. Why is this the only thing that isn't a lie? Why? Why am I the only one who's from the reserve department? Why? Why am I here with all the other ultimates? Hey, hey! Hajime, did something happen? Why didn't you read all of the other files though? You were just so focused on yourself. So selfish. I just found a strange file. <gasps> Isn't that the special prize Nagato received when cleared the final dead room? As I recall, the student profile should be in there. It's not just my profile, the profiles of everyone on this island are in there. Huh? When you say everyone, do you mean everyone? Yeah, it's just basic information, but there should be si profiles for all 16 of us. Can I take a look at that file? You're right. My profile is really in here, but unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any details. Details? Details about our missing memories. Information about the time we spent at Hope's Peak Academy. Hmm. If it's not written in there, these profiles might have been written before we entered the Academy. Then it's impossible to obtain new clues from them. Yeah, seems like it. Now hold on. Huh? Need more habit. I, I just noticed right now, but... The file! His name isn't in there, right? There's supposed to be 16 names worth of profiles, but his name is the only one missing, right? Hmm? Who are you talking about? Byakuya. I'm talking about oh. Byakuya Togami. Look carefully. No matter where I look, I don't see his name anywhere. <laughs> no way! Don't take this book away from me, Ma Monokuma. Monokuma, I need this. I want this information. So what if a name isn't written in that file? Perhaps, based on that, you'd think he might be a traitor? No, it's not that. Just because of his name isn't written in here. That's not the only reason I think he's suspicious. But if he was, why would he die on the first night? For some reason, like, someone like him to be in a similar situation on silent, no matter what, is definitely suspicious. Hmm. Well, it pains me to say this, but 
What you're saying about the missing name and about the killing school life. It's totally wrong. You're completely... It's, there's a completely different reason. Different reason. You're getting all riled How up. should I put this? You guys have been getting all worked up about that Byakwa for no reason. Which means the great mystery that you think surrounds that Byakwa doesn't exist. You're basing it on one person's cheap speculation. What do you mean? What the heck? You don't have to ask me that. You'd know the answer just by looking through the profiles, right? What do we want to establish looking through the pages? Ultimate imposter. Every section was filled with question marks. It could barely be considered a student profile. On the page I've only ever found one thing. Ultimate imposter. That's that Bakuas Byakuwa's true identity. True identity. He was a fake. He was pretending to be the ultimate affluent progeny Byakuwa Togami. What? So he wasn't Byakuwa at all. So what happened to Byakuwa? A uh, fake? Hey, um And the fake died on the first killing. The fact that the profile is filled with question marks isn't a mistake or an oversight. Surprisingly enough, that's the correct information regarding him. The ultimate poster has no name, no permanent address, and even has his age. Well, you said his. <laughs> so, that's a thing. That's his gender. <laughs> is unknown. Basically, he doesn't exist. Because he doesn't exist. He's able to exist as anybody. That's his talent. Pew <laughs> Though I'm not jealous of that at all. That's why he was so nice. Oh yeah, that's... That's why he was so nice. But then... Why would you be an imposter then? If you're not if you're not going to be a bad person. Perhaps. Is that why he was so much fatter compared to when... To when he was involved in skilling for the life? So cool. His physique doesn't affect his ability to fool others at all. Real imposters are skilled like that. Then he was lying to us the whole time. But still. But he couldn't help it. What? Why couldn't he help it? Oh. Because that was his talent. Well, having a talent doesn't mean you are also bound to that talent. That moment you attain your talent, your way of life has already been chosen for you. You can't do anything except for rely on his on that talent, regardless of whether you want that life or not. <laughs> In that sense, compared to uh, the other ultimates. Your life might be a bit more liberating. Oh, what the hell? Anyway, I'm not happy that you guys fell with that scam that I had nothing to do with. That's right. So I'll tell you straight up: this revelation about Biako is exactly the truth. Then, what was he like trying to say to me that time? So, if. This is not really Byakuwa. Well, what past is he talking about? I expect it's... Skeptical nature is partly to blame. Distrusting others and in being distrusted in turn. For a long time my life has been a living hell. Based on the context, if I had to guess... No, no! Maybe he was just complaining that he was cursed to wander the earth as nothing more than a fraud. But if you guys had your school memories, you never would have been betrayed in the first place. I mean, it'd be different if you were meeting him for the first time. Ching! But since you guys went to Hope Seek Academy, you should have already known about the ultimate imposter already. So in the end, it all leads back to our lot memory. Phew! Jeez, the Future Foundation sure is awful. There's no way you should ignore Monami or the traitor. Who is it? Who's the traitor? Just from looking at the 16 profiles, I still wouldn't know who the who from the future foundation. Is there really someone like that? Of course. Well, obviously you wouldn't know. I made that file so you guys would couldn't find out. Could it be? But then how did Nagato find out? So just as I thought, you're the one who did it. Hey, um. The fact that there are 16 profiles in there is that what's wrong? Mm. I mean, the traitor is a spy set by the future foundation. Not a student from Hope Academy. You 
you made a fake profile for the trader and included it in here? Correct! It wouldn't be the fun if you figured it out who the trader was so easily, right? Hey, hey! Then we can't use this file to figure out who the trader is. That was the truth. That was true for Nagato too, right? Hmm. Well, probably. Hmm. <laughs> Are you sure? Time's up. Bye -bye. Excuse me for a moment. Ah. Okay. That was a quite, pretty quick uh, investigation. Maybe because I like also skipped a few things, but I don't feel it was important. That chime just now. What is most important for living things? Well, personally, I think time is. I think time is too. I mean, your bank account may go up and down, but time will inevitably run out, right? That's why we gotta cherish time. There is nothing more wasteful than wasting time. I know. Am I wasting time by streaming myself to just two people? <laughs> so, time's up! We will begin the last class trial, so please gather at Monokuma Rock! <laughs> this isn't a waste of time. I'll see you soon! Yep. Um... Well? But still... Right? We're not fighting this alone, you know. We're not alone. We got each other. Alright, Monaco Marat. Will we ending up ending soon? Damn right. Looks like everyone's here. Huh? Is this it? Shouldn't there be more people? Damn it! Stop it! You're making me depressed. Stupid fool. Um. So it's gonna happen again. A cruel conflict where we must doubt our friends. <laughs> but, but once we're through with this, we can go back, right? That's right. That Monokuma bastard said so, didn't he? He said this is the last class trial. Damn it. But we've been tricked every step of the way. There's no way I can believe that so easily. Of course not! I can't believe it. The guy who's making us do all this is the one saying it, you know? You know, That's right? why. I'll definitely survive. If we can go home after we deal with this cla class That's trial, right. I'll definitely find out who the killer is, no matter what. Even if I have to pull out all the stops. <laughs> you haven't realized it yet. The feeling of wanting to leave this island, thinking that this is Monokuma's trap, you know? Huh? What are you saying? Got it? There's no way Monokuma will end things here. He's planning something far worse. <laughs> Stop your trying to jinx us. I'll beat you up! Everyone, you sh mustn't run away from despair. I finally realized, after losing my power, I've realized the curse, your powerlessness, or your fate accomplishes nothing. The possibility may be small. But as long as there is possibilities, you must face it. In order to become someone who you can be who can be proud of yourself. So I will fight. Huh? Um I do not know, but she seems different from before. <laughs> Maybe she read a self help book. Wait. But her eyes, she looks so determined. You ah. Anyway, make sure you turn off Minimaru. It'd be annoying if he started talking during the trial. <laughs> oh, fine. But still... Somehow I understand what Monomi is saying, I think. Anyway, let's get going. The class trial starts. Yep. You're right. We need to fight. Uh. I still have no idea who it could be. And I'm kind of sad if it's anyone except for Sonya. Because Sonya's been suspicious. No one else... Everyone else seems depressed and all sad and stuff. Chiaki also seems alright, but I think that's just because she's weird. <laughs> but, I don't know. I think it's Sonya. Yeah. But they'll probably change my mind eventually. Well? Let's worry about things after we finish. You are right. Damn it. 
kill a man just to kill someone like Nagato. There's no way this is gonna be going smoothly. I mean, I still can't believe one of us were able to do that. Um... Nagato was problematic in many ways, but he was also a valuable asset during the trials. And then this door slowly opened. Now. I love the chatterbox Nagato is gone. There's only six of you left. Shut the hell up! Hey! Yep. <laughs> so you gotta show some enthusiasm and make sure you give it all your all. Alright! You think it's Monami? Can't we can't even vote for Monami, can we? I think it's Sonya. Didn't I tell you? I said it. This is the end. Now then. Viva killing! Alright. That one's it's the most brutal murder in this. He was the first person to be And he went crazy. <laughs> he was really crazy. So many reds now. And so this is a life threatening trial. Will be continued next time on City Cruise Live. Ah, thanks for watching guys. It's definitely getting interesting. Definitely starting to know some more about what is happening. He was also amazing and I loved him to but he's dead now. <laughs> uh, well, I don't feel that sad that he died, but it was a pretty brutal murder, so I feel sad about that. But anyway, that's it for today on CD Cruise Live. Next time, we will hopefully figure out the killer of Nagato. F's to pay respect. Goodbye!